what you should avoid in your volleyball performance, what is the connection between uh, Santa Claus and uh, volleyball, and why you should uh, not play volleyball like Santa Claus. I'll answer these uh, questions and give you lots of useful advice uh, in this video. When you play a volleyball game, I definitely believe that you want to win. You try to make as many points as possible on the court and be better than your opponent. You don't want to give your opponent uh, anything for free, rather you want to push them uh, to the limit. You play fair play, but you want to be the other team, but you also sometimes act uh, like Santa Claus during games. You give your opponent uh, gifts in many forms, gifts uh, that the opponent hasn't earned by his good performance. You give him gifts and points uh, that he gets for free. And this is wrong. So I want to point out these gifts, uh, your mistakes and advise you not to do them and not to behave like Santa Claus during games. I'll start with the offense. With attack you score the most points in a match, because your team is attacking maybe 20 times per set. And related to that is the fact that you can give your opponent a lot of gifts on attack. You can make a lot of mistakes, which means a point for your opponent. And the biggest mistake and the major gift uh, is to attack to the net. When you attack uh, to the net, uh, you make a mistake yourself. The opponent doesn't have to do anything. You are simply giving him the gift of your direct error and a point for him for free. And if you make uh, several of these mistakes and gifts uh, in a match, uh, it can cost you victory in the match. So when you attack, uh, always try to attack over the net. Uh, even if you have a difficult situation and the ball is not well set, uh, avoid hitting to the net. Attacking into the net is a big mistake, the end of the action for you and Christmas with a point celebration on the opponent's side. But in the match, uh, you also get into the difficult situations when the opponent uh, put you under pressure. The opponent has attacked well, uh, you are happy to defend this ball in the field and uh, you can't make a good set uh, to the attacker. Then comes the situation of passing or bumping the ball to the other side and actually giving free ball to the opponent. A ball that uh, the other team can easily defend uh, and the gift uh, you shouldn't make is to play this free ball to the libero. The libero is a defensive uh, specialist. Uh, most liberos are excellent uh, defenders uh, and the libero doesn't attack either. His job is just to pass as many balls as possible for the setter and when you play free ball to him, usually in zone 5, you are giving the opponent a big gift. The libero will pass this ball accurately high to the net into the hands of the setter and the opponent uh, will be able to attack uh, quick sets uh, with uh, middle blockers, outside hitters and opposite. And you don't want that. You want your opponent uh, to be in a difficult situation, uh, attacking from a high set in a situation uh, that you can set up a quality block and good defense in the field against these attacks. That's why when you are in this uh, situation and you can't attack, never play a free ball to a libero, but try to aim and play that ball to a setter. Don't give the libero the gift uh, he's waiting for and don't make him happy that he passed a perfect ball to the setter. You can also give your opponent uh, several gifts uh, on serve. And in my opinion, the biggest gift uh, and your biggest mistake is stepping on the line when serving. Touching the foot of this line when serving is a violation of uh, volleyball rules and an immediate point for the opponent. Especially if you are serving a float serve from the ground. This is a huge and especially unforced error. Therefore, when you serve, be careful of uh, where you are standing or calculate well the approach to your jump serve. Otherwise, you will be giving your opponent uh, free points and his uh, team will celebrate uh, every gift uh, you give him with this mistake. And when I see a free ball being passed uh, to the other side to the opponent, I often get quite angry internally. Because the opponent is in a difficult situation. His players are happy that they can play the ball to your side at all. They are glad uh, you didn't get a point. But at the same time, uh, they realize they are giving you a little gift, playing you the ball for free. The first touch and the play of an easy ball should always be done with a precision, high to the net, into the hands of the setter. But instead uh, it's followed by a poorly played ball, a ball that goes uh, to the other side. Your huge advantage becomes a huge disadvantage and that's gonna make you not only you but uh, your whole team, including your coach, uh, pretty angry. That's why when you pass a free ball, never play it to the other side. Rather pass or bump it a meter from the net but always leave it on your half of the court. Because if your team controls the ball, you can gain a point. If you give it to your opponent for free, you probably know what you can expect. 
And I mustn't forget the gift where an easy or free ball flies at you and you let it drop on the ground. Just before the ball falls into your fingers or onto your bump, you dodge or step away from the ball that is flying at you or very close to you. This mistake is often made by children, but even many adult players sometimes worry about playing the ball. Once again, we are giving our opponent a gift of a point he didn't deserve. Sure, when a heart attack is coming at you at 100 km an hour, it's hard to defend that ball. But easy balls flying close to you are something else. So don't be afraid of the ball. If you are not sure, shout me or mine. Get under the ball or step up to it and play the ball high to the middle of the field. Or better yet, high to the net for the setter. The same is true if you have to set the ball to the attacker. Concentrate and set it high to him, meter from the net. Just don't let these simple balls that are flying at you fall to the ground. And don't be Santa Claus for your opponent. We can also give our opponent a gift by positioning yourself incorrectly to receive the serve. To make violation of rotation rule. And even professional teams make these mistakes once in a while. Your opponent did not force you to make this mistake. This positional fault is only your team's mistake. A mistake that automatically means a point and a gift for the opponent in the eyes of the referees. So memorize where to stand in all six positions, but not only just for you. Memorize the positions of the other players as well, so that you can advise and help them in tense situations. Because I'm sure you don't want to give your opponent a point for free for your positional fault. And your gifts can include also your body language. Imagine that you had a bad ball. You hit an out, for example. Sure, you can't look positive and celebrate, but if you walk around with your head down after that ball, after your mistake, you are showing your opponent your insecurity, fearfulness or lack of confidence. You are actually telling him, I don't trust myself and he can take advantage of that and play another point on you. Therefore, even if you have made a mistake, still stay positive. Learn from this mistake, but think about the next point. Because mistakes are part of volleyball and you don't want to make it easy for your opponent to get another point in a match. And if you are not doing well in volleyball, maybe you are not playing like you want for a longer period of time, then watch my uh, volleyball motivational video that will get your blood uh, pumping and put uh, new energy into your volleyball. Anyway, I believe uh, that these tips on how to avoid giving gifts to opponent and not play volleyball like Santa Claus will help you become a better player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.